the area S of the curved surface of a cylinder of radius R and height R is given by the formula S is equal to 2 pi RH. S is called the curved surface area. So let me write S is curved surface area. Curved surface area. So a cylinder with a top and a bottom has got two types of surfaces. One is a curved surface and the top and the bottom are flat. Okay. So you're talking about this surface which is curved. Okay. So that form the formula for that is two pi r h. It's a very simple formula. You can prove this very easily, but our focus is not that. So that's given. The second thing that is given is the height of the cylinder is eight centimeters larger than its radius. So this is your height and this is your radius. So height is given to be r plus 8 centimeters. So r is r and your height is 8 centimeters more than the radius. The area of the curved surface of this cylinder is 40 centimeter squared. This is given to be 40 centimeters squared. So, so let us write the formula. So we have got, we got the formula s is equal to 2 pi r h. That's the first thing that is given. Always good to write the facts. The second thing that is given is h is equal to r plus 8. And the third thing that is given is s is equal to 40 centimeters square. So let us put this, uh, this and this and this. So can we say, so this implies 40 in place of s, you can put 40 is equal to 2 pi, 2 pi r times in place of h, I can put r plus 8. Okay, so let's expand this or simplify this. So this is, let's divide both side by, let's divide both side by 2. Okay, so this becomes 20 is equal to pi r times r plus 8. So expanding this, this implies 20 is equal to pi r squared plus 8 pi r. So this has become a quadratic equation. So this implies writing this in a quadratic form. You can write pi r squared plus 8 pi r minus 20 is equal to 0. So what I've done is I've basically taken away 20 from both sides. So if you take away 20 from this side, you take away 20 from this side and from this you can get this quadratic equation. So yeah, if you, you know the quadratic equation has this general form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So those who don't have a graphic calculator, this is the general form of a, gra of a quadratic equation. So comparing this with this, I hope you can see a is pi and you can compare your x squared x with r. You're comparing your x with r and your a with pi. So your b can be compared to 8 pi. And your c is minus 20. So if you're not allowed to use a graphic calculator, you can use a quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So this is a quadratic formula. So you can substitute the values of a, b, and c into this, and you'll get the value of x. But if you have a graphic calculator, this is a very tedious calculation. So, But uh, if you have a graphic calculator, you can just substitute. Go to the equation menu. Go to the equation menu. Go to polynomial and the second degree. So a is pi, so you shift, you enter shift pi, enter, your b is 8 pi, so 8 shift pi, and your c is minus 20, just like that, and then you go to solve. So you got two answers, 0 point, you got two answers, 0 0.73, or minus 8.73 in 2 dB. So we can say x is equal to 0 0.73, centimeters or what is the other answer minus 8.73 
minus 8.73 centimeters in 2 dp centimeters in 2 dp okay so just now the question is calculate the height of the cylinder so your height so let me write the answer here so your height is uh, r plus so here you have to say well your r your x or oh, it's not x here sorry good to always check so here your x is r so r is 0 0.73 or minus 8.73 but now you have to say but your radius has to be greater than zero which implies r is 0 0.73 centimeters 0 0.73 centimeters so your height we know is r plus 8 so it, this is 8.73 centimeters okay so this is it now just to check your answer let's check because this is rounding so you, you may not get exactly 40 so just to check our answer let's go to run 2 shift pi times r which is 0 0.73 times 8.73 so this will be around 40 so this is a good estimation so that's 40 so if you had put the exact answer if you had put the exact answer you will exactly get 40 